I don't want any more hot dogs. I don't want any more hot dogs. Oh my god. Oh, I made a grave mistake. So by now you've probably seen the hot dog baseball challenge, but in case you haven't, it's nine hot dogs, nine innings. There are other variations of this challenge, and a lot of them usually include also nine beers, but I was not going to do that for a multitude of reasons. One, probably not smart because I want to get monetized here on this channel. Two, because that's super expensive. And three, logistically, it's just a total nightmare. But here are the rules for my hot dog challenge. I'm going to the Los Angeles Angels versus Kansas City Royals game on April 21st, 2023. My challenge is to eat nine hot dogs in nine innings with a twist. One of those nine hot dogs has to be a specialty dog from the stadium. I can officially start after the very first pitch of the game, which is scheduled for 638. And the inning ends after the third out of the bottom of the frame, which means the next inning starts after that final out. And I have to eat one hot dog per inning. I can't fall behind. If I don't eat a dog, let's say during the third, I can't eat two dogs during the fourth. So with all the rules set aside, I headed to the ballpark to get ready to take on the challenge. Well, I'm trying to get the right stat strategy down here. So we're gonna go four hot dogs first. We'll grab those. Then I'm gonna go with the specialty dog in the fifth inning while Megan is gonna get the other four hot dogs via a, they have like a mobile order situation going on at the stadium this year. The other weird wrinkle in this system is that Angel Stadium does not have condiment packets because they're just the little, the squirt pumps. Maybe you don't want anything, like you just wanna have a plain dog or just I feel, like a, I feel like a plain dog could get really bad. So I had my plan in place. I was ready to roll, full of confidence, maybe a little bit of nerves, but ready to roll. I bought the first round of hot dogs 31 minutes before first pitch at 6.08 p.m. My strategy was to dress them all differently so I don't get tired of the flavor. The four hot dogs that I initially bought at the beginning of the game were a fully dressed dog of ketchup, mustard, and relish. One all relish, one all ketchup, and one with ketchup and mustard. But I knew I wanted to get that specialty dog halfway through the game in the fifth inning. That way it kind of changes up the pace and the texture. So with Shohei ready to go against the Royals, he took the mound and the very first pitch of the ball game came in at 6.39 p.m., one minute late from the scheduled start time. All right, first dog, first inning, here we go. The first hot dog went down with ease. I tackled the ketchup, mustard, and relish dog because that is my favorite way to dress a hot dog at a ballpark. And I knocked this thing out within two minutes, easy. We're 10% of the way there already. And Shohei knocked out the Royals, easy. One, two, three, while striking out the sides. The Angels were also quiet in the bottom of the inning going one, two, three in the bottom of the first. And the first inning was over in 10 minutes. With the final out of the bottom of the first being recorded, it was time to take on hot dog number two. Behold the relish dog. So I grabbed the dog, unwrapped it at 6.49 p.m. This thing went down with ease as well. I finished it also in two minutes, done with hot dog number two at 6.51. It's kind of salty. I got the it's a wrap. And there's the first out of the second inning. <laughs> and even though this dog went down pretty easy, a problem already arose that I wasn't fully anticipating. So I'm definitely a little worried about the texture. The dogs are, what, 20 minutes old at this point since we bought them. So I'm, they're 40 minutes old? Jesus. So I'm a little worried because that last one was very soggy. Not only that, but my biggest fear is already becoming a reality. Shohei's pitching well already. There's the second out. Pretty quick. Uh, he's 16 pitches in and he's gotten five outs. So he's on a roll. Shohei ended up going six up, six down. And not only that, but so did Royals starting pitcher Taylor Clark. So we're 12 up, 12 down into the game. And the second inning only took 11 minutes. So trying to keep pace with this, it's now 7.02 p.m. Again, game started at 6.39, and I'm already grabbing my third hot dog. And in this moment, I'm already thinking to myself, okay, this game is going quick, but I am prepared for nine whole innings. And I take a bite of hot dog number three, but reality is already starting to set in. I don't want any more hot dogs. I don't want any more hot dogs. The all ketchup dog is cold, and I gravely miscalculated how much to put on top of this thing. 
All of them are already starting to get soggy and unappetizing. So with the texture not the greatest thing in the world, I decided to slow down a little bit here and take a few bites every couple of minutes. It takes me six minutes to eat hot dog number three, and it's now 7.08 p.m., just 27 minutes since we started. That's one hot dog every nine minutes right now. Thankfully, the Angels actually got some action on the base paths with a two-run shot in the bottom of the third to slow down this rapidly moving game. Thank you, Chad! Thank you, Chad Wallach! I need a miss. So the third inning ends, and my strategy kind of has to change a little bit here. I planned on getting my specialty hot dog after the top of the fourth, so I'd be going midway through the inning. That way I can pick up the dog and be back in my seat for the top of the fifth. But one thing I did not anticipate when I bought these tickets was that the specialty dog stand is all the way on the other side of the stadium, meaning I have a long walk ahead of me. I have to walk in the top of the fourth now instead of the midway point of the fourth. So I grab my last hot dog that I've already bought, which is the ketchup and mustard dog, while I walk all the way across the stadium, which takes a full seven minutes. And honestly, doubt is really starting to set in here. I'm quickly realizing that this game is moving too fast. I bought these hot dogs way too early, but I have no choice but to finish this thing on my walk to the specialty stand. This is really starting to get gross. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Meanwhile, Megan is mobile ordering the other four hot dogs that I need to finish throughout the rest of the game. I never realized <clears throat> how salty hot dogs are. So with my very long walk all the way to the other side of the stadium, I get to the specialty hot dog stand. And this is where I realized I made a massive mistake. I added the specialty dog in the rules thinking this would help. What I didn't realize that these are nine inch hot dogs instead of the regular six inch dogs that they sell throughout the stadium. And on top of all of this, this hot dog stand is not moving at a quick pace. As I watch these hot dogs slowly come out of the kitchen, ending ending double play. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's been three double plays in this game. It's now 7.27 p.m., not even an hour since the game started, and I haven't even ordered my hot dog yet. And I'm on the other side of the stadium. This is when I started to really worry and panic. I texted Megan, don't buy the hot dogs yet, but it's too late. She has already ordered four dogs, I am just now ordering my specialty dog, and it took a full seven minutes, and I finally got my mac and cheese dog, and it's already the bottom of the fifth. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Oh, I've made a grave mistake. I have made a grave mistake. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this on this walk over to my seats again. I have to go all the way back across the stadium and both teams just can't hit the ball right now. I have absolutely no choice but to start eating while I'm on my long journey back to the left field foul pole. Yo, honestly, this bacon and cheese might save my life right now because that tasted so much better than everything else I've already eaten. This game is flying. It's only the fifth and my body is already starting to quit on me but I rush back to my seat. I bear down. I'm determined I'm not gonna quit this challenge. I'm not gonna let a couple of hot dogs stand in my way of YouTube glory. I take my first real bite of the dog itself with one out in the bottom of the fifth, ready to destroy this mac and cheese with bacon and onions on top, and I realize this is not gonna happen. Honestly, I just took one bite of this dog and it's awful. It's so salty. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. What I thought was going to be my saving grace ends up being my undoing. The final nail in the coffin of this hot dog challenge was what I thought was my greatest idea, the specialty dog. And of course, I can't forget that four other hot dogs and 30 more bucks have already been spent. This is when hot dog delirium starts to set in. <laughs> oh no. I have no choice but to admit defeat. I only ate four 
hot dogs. I completely miscalculated my plan and I failed. But after an admittedly embarrassing outing, I had to remember there's always tomorrow. It's baseball after all. I was determined. I will beat this challenge. The Angels play tomorrow, tickets are cheap, and I'm gonna give this thing one more tr No, 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 this is a terrible idea, don't do this. It cost me like 200 bucks. It was $100 on tickets and $100 on hot dogs. This was a terrible idea, do not do this. Even still with all these mistakes from buying that first round of hot dogs way too early to putting way too many condiments on top to underestimating the specialty dog, Megan and I, at the end of the day, got to watch Shohei Otani pitch seven shutout innings and the Angels won two to nothing. So we had a great time and I will not be attempting this challenge again because it's dumb. Don't do this. If you're thinking about doing this, it is not worth it. But again, we got to see Shohei shove for seven frames, so I'll take it. Hey, I know this was a totally different style of video and I hope you liked it. If you're here for the first time, I do actual baseball coverage here on my YouTube channel, so make sure to hit subscribe. Anyway, that's gonna do it here for this one. Let me know, do you think you can take on the hot dog baseball challenge? Don't do it. All right, I'll see you next time. Later.